Amazing. <laughs> this is pumpkin, yeah? Pumpkin soup. Yeah. It's an appetite. Danke. Hello, guys. The girl just arrived, okay? I hope you're doing great. You know what? Despite everything that is going on, I just want to believe that wherever you are, you are healthy, you're safe. <clears throat> Despite everything that is going on, it's crazy to ask how you are. It's hard also for you to answer, oh, I'm fine. Okay. Again, we just want to believe that we are fine. Again, I will also not answer someone I am not fine at this situation. But deep down, I know I want to go out. I know I want to go for holiday. I know I want to fly. I miss checking in. I miss checking out. I miss just wearing my bikini and laying on the sun. I mean, girl, who doesn't want to do that? Even if it's just going out without wearing a mask. I miss that. I think we all do. We just miss our normal life. So the moment I ask someone how you are, I wish it could be last year where I know it's either you're saying you're not fine because of your work, because of, but now it's something different. Girl! You know what I mean? So, and here I am. If you're new to my channel, I just want to say I am always random, but mostly I do informative videos food style whatever the beauty just something that i find interesting fun something that i find um helpful you know sharing out there that's all about my, my my channel and so this time i'm just gonna do a short video if you have read there it is really part one because there comes part two Again, if you are my friend on Facebook, I go by the name of Cecilia Says, there. You, I think you have seen my video. I went live and I was talking about my video or about what it will entail and everything. But this is part one. Now listen, I am doing this video to just minimize the time we will use in the other video where we will talk about or I will talk about um, visa, time, money, process, procedure, where to go, what you need. So all about that. That's exactly what we will be talking about. And sharing this information with you guys means a lot to me because I can remember when I was in this situation it was so frustrating for me because I didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to need. I didn't know absolutely anything. I was just a Kenyan girl trying to go outside there and find my way in, in the German world. And it is really not easy, guys, if you don't know where to start. Because in every step, you need the first step. And I didn't know that. So... I didn't have any information on where to begin and for me to share this information it have been requested by so many people and I'm so grateful for those friends I have they keep on reminding me this is something you can do and so they keep on on my toes and I'm so so grateful so again let me repeat this is not the video that I have said, I think most of my friends, they're waiting for this video where I said I will talk about visa processes, time and everything. I will be answering all their questions. I have a few of the questions, but this one, the video is not that. It is, I'm just gonna talk about the journey that it takes for you to get there, for you to decide whether you will go ahead collecting all the information, starting to pay, and at the end of the day, book your flight to Germany. So I'm gonna just share the journey. This is also saving time for the video that we'll be doing. I think it needs a lot of, it's, 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 it's gonna be not really a long one, but it will need a lot of information and we'll be trying also to save as much time as possible. So here, that's the division that I decided to do. And so I'm going to start by saying it is not easy. Again, if you have watched my video in Facebook, I'm just going to repeat a few of the things or add a little bit of information from my previous video in Facebook. If you have not checked that out, go check that out. And again, thank you for everyone who subscribed. After that video, I am so grateful. 
who have whoever have not subscribed shame on you <laughs> again i'll be grateful if you share this video with your friends or just comment or just just do something with this video now i'm just gonna saying again it's not easy never you need to be flexible you need to know what you're doing you need to be so what is the name uh, you you have uh, you need that urge of wanting to do this journey i am telling you it is not easy i know you have seen a lot of your friends or a lot of people you knew they fly to germany or somewhere else outside country and you're like holy crap what am i doing i need this i want to do this now first of all as i said you need to start somewhere research is the key guys is the key now a lot of you you are like oh my god i need information now again a lot of people well majority they prefer hearing or watching the information well watch and learn hear and learn a lot of people prefer that i am one of those guys i don't like well i prefer watching or hearing and so i can learn and get the information reading is more boring that is something a majority of the people don't like but also that comes in handy guys you need to read because you don't get every information on 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 a youtube or just someone to come and tell you hey this is this and this name you need to read also somewhere maybe from a book maybe from a form or something like that so the research either in google but also from research either in google you don't get all the information never guys never this is where it comes when i said you have to be flexible if you don't get all the information from google or from internet you need to do your own research get out get out of the house go outside there either in an office immigration office take a pen with a notebook go there ask questions wait in line if you have to if you have to go there three four times wait until you find what you're looking for as i said it's not easy i had to wait i had to pay a lot of money sometimes i pay money and i don't get what i i, I paid for or i pay until i'm told oh you have to to pay more or I get overcharged now this is where the research I'm talking about comes if you do your research you will find out what you need how much you need to pay how long it takes for you to to get all this done okay a lot of people get manipulated by agents agents can be good others can be worse so you better watch out you don't need agents for you to come to Germany. Again, I'm stressing so much on Germany because that's where I live. I know nothing about USA, Canadian, Canada, whatever, Austria, Australia. No, I know nothing about there. So I can only stress about where I live. A lot of agents will manipulate you. The moment they realize you know nothing about what you are doing, the moment they realize you have no knowledge about what all about this journey entails, they will overcharge you, they will lie to you, they will steal from you, they will take you to the hell and back, okay? I was in that position. This guy stole money from us. They, they really, like I'm telling you guys, it was hell on earth. How did I get out of that situation? I decided enough is enough. I need to do this on my own now this is where you need to understand the moment you start doing things on your own research going to an office that is something you it helps you in future you learn so much than you think maybe you went to immigration office asking just one question asking for oh how long will it take for my visa to be processed how long will it take for me to get my passport you get either a brochure maybe you meet someone nice who will tell you oh you also need this oh i didn't know that okay you also need this and this is so you get to learn you get to meet people who will help you in this journey rather than just asking you for money because you don't have that friendship that closeness they are just doing their job and that is help you can help other people now 
that is where these agents get their mind of manipulating people from okay so when i started doing things my way i got to do them so fast i got everything done i got everything in order i got to meet people who until today we are in contact and they help me every time i need something they help me to help my friends who are still looking for visa or something passport or something like that because i went I did not expect anyone to do this job for me. I left, I came out from my comfort zone and I decided to do this. Flexibility guys, research and wanting to do it. Time also, time is the key guys. Time is the key. Oh my God, if you are already in this position, maybe Corona made you stop. Again, you are in the middle and you don't know what goes forward. Maybe you started with your passport, you have your passport, you don't know what goes forward. Maybe you're still collecting your documents. Time management, guys. Oh my God. I was always the first in every office I visited when I was doing this, guys. I was always one hour earlier, 45, hours early, 45 minutes earlier. I had to wait even two hours either going to the embassy, either going to immigration office, either going to any office, either going to the bank. I was always early, guys. Always, always. And in this, you get to do much more than just going to an office late and you get another appointment. Maybe it's on a Friday. You have to come on Monday. So, time consuming. You have wasted time. You don't get anything done. And you start going crazy because you also maybe have other appointments on Monday and maybe you get the same appointment the same time you know you see where I'm going with this so time management guys flexibility and time management they're like this sister and brother so you have to move your ass you have to write everything down you need to record like everything that you're doing you need to be there this is something very sensitive. I am talking about this because I know I, I have been there and I'm still doing that because I am still living in Germany when we go to Kenya, when I still want some either uh, my forms filled here, I still do that, okay? So that is really important, guys. Again, you are in the house and you're like, I know a friend, he or she went to Germany without an agent she or he collected all the information she needed and she was able to go there guys everything is possible when you are in this situation where you feel i cannot do it no advice makes sense to you i know guys i was in your situation i was like oh my god i need this i want to do this now it also requires you to start somewhere Go to these places where you can find people who can direct you to this direction, okay? It is like when you're sick, you go to the hospital. Meet people who can motivate you towards this direction, okay? That is also the journey to get you to Germany. Meet people who can educate you. Meet people who are true and really flexible because most of the people, they lie. I have met those. They lie. I like sharing this because a lot of people or a few of people have talked about this and you don't know where to begin. Well, next video, this is part one of the journey. Next video, I'm going to be giving you nitty gritties, guys. Documentation, going to the embassy, what you need to do, what you don't need to do. Do's and don'ts, guys. You will thank me later. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. It's going to be helpful. You will be coming to Germany soon after you watch that video. There is also something I talk about, au pair. A lot of people think or believe you can only come to Germany when you're married or maybe to just as a tourist. You can also come here as, you know, invitation from a family. It's called au pair. If it's correct pronunciation you come here well I won't say a housemaid I would just say a helper because here you get to do other extra things either going to school 
or having an extra job but what you will be doing to this family you'll be taking care either for their kids either someone who is old and they cannot do a lot for themselves so you will be doing this making everything in order in their house and you get to build your life from there you meet maybe if you're a girl single you meet a husband and you get married you get out of this situation and then you build your life so you don't need agents you don't need invitation from the government or something you just need to know what you need school that is documentation on its own marriage another case uh, visiting another case uh, uh, sickness another case all of these guys this needs a lot of research this needs when you tell me says can you bring me to germany now let me tell you all about that germany it's not like a tourist country where you can just say let me fly like we say let me fly to Kenya no <laughs> coming to Germany you need a solid solid reason to come guys I cannot bring you here and just stay here I will tell you why you are here German government asks me are you working how much are you earning to be able to facilitate two people you and me now is that enough how are you able to make sure this guy is here for maybe i have i have invited you for one year how long can i be able to deal with the situation is it all these questions all these questions guys and at this moment my husband will be the one inviting you now you will be like our child i'll be buying everything for you i'll be paying everything for you i'll be paying sickness insurance which is damn expensive here in germany you have no idea what i'm talking about okay so the moment you tell me says invite me to germany guys please it's not just like one day you get up and you say i'm going to town no 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 no. you will need to use more than just visiting you need to invest you need to spend okay you need to move your ass and this is a problem i get with a lot of people when i decide to do serious business with them they are not serious it is just someone seated in the house and they just decide to text me because they can and because they can reach me no girl no it doesn't work like that i don't like joking when it comes to serious business if you want me to do this what are you bringing on the table okay so the journey to get a german visa guys it is not easy whoever have have done this or gone through this situation they definitely know what is this so this is part one of that journey i am telling you guys it needs time you need to be flexible you need to be true to yourself you need to move again if you're watching this video and you are in this process please you need to be punctual whatever you'll be doing that helps guys you need to be friendly you don't need to have an attitude when you go to an office and you have to wait wait okay that's when you meet people who are oh my god you waited i'm so sorry i will do this for you and everything you get some extras okay and they are helpful in future trust me i was in your shoes so don't worry don't give up you need also to be don't be slow a lot of people are slow you're in this situation and you don't even do anything you're just waiting for this guy who is in germany to move their asses and tell you please go do this now i send you money go and all you're doing is oh i got i got, there was traffic there is always traffic guys there is always a but but you can do better than that this is the journey i am telling you guys it is not easy it requires someone who wants to do this okay so i will talk about all about this i will share with you guys a to z about documentation i will be linking a lot of important information and it will definitely change your life yes you can it will open your mind stop thinking that i can only go to germany via marriage via invitation from my sister my boyfriend my whatever no 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 no. there is so many chances for you to be able to get out of your situation 
it is possible anything is possible i'm the living proof okay i am just i just decided i did it on facebook but i know i also have friends here who are not on facebook and i get to reach out to them and prepare them to see this it, i'm gonna be posting this before monday guys i am so grateful to be sharing this information i hope it reaches as many people as possible i hope you can also share it when you will see it. this is just part one part two is yet to come so you can send your questions here you can also uh, i don't know if in my youtube channel uh, there is an email well you can uh, just send your question here tell me if you want to reach out to me in my email i can send it to you i can also give you information on what what you are doing at the moment if you are in a situation where you don't know how to go forward i can still help you with that just text me tell me says i need to reach out to you please can you help me with this i will definitely people who know me they know i do that gladly this is why i do this and sharing this it's perfect for me so so i'll be seeing you guys in my video don't forget to subscribe okay and i'll be seeing you in the hot head informative video coming next ciao guys Mwah.